Crea, we teach sous vide cooking and we also do consulting and high level R&D for what will be the future of sous vide. Cryo concentration is a great way to help combat food waste in the kitchen. Here we save our peelings and trimmings from our beet. The sous vide extraction and cryo concentration process will increase the amount of bricks in the liquid, which is essentially measuring the flavor. We remove water in the form of ice crystals, so it leaves the flavorful liquid behind, and that flavorful liquid we apply to our recipes. We're combining the beet cryo concentration liquid with halibut that's been brined in advance, and we're cooking it using the Delta cooking technique with the Hydro Pro Plus, which has the probe attachment, which we're gonna keep in the core of the fish. The water temperature is gonna be much higher than we want it to reach, and in fact, we're removing it about 20 degrees centigrade below the temperature we'd like to reach in core. It will continue to carry over cooking to the desired temperature that we want. The probe in the core will hit an alarm when it's time to remove it to start the resting phase. This technique will be a lot faster than other sous vide cooking techniques. And additionally, the higher cooking temperature in the bath will help to kill any surface bacteria that could be on the product. We cook the beets sous vide for approximately four hours at 83 degrees Celsius. And then we also cooked the asparagus sous vide at a little higher temperature using the guide from the sous vide toolbox. It was cooked at 90 Celsius, and once the cooking was complete, we transferred it to an ice bath to chill quickly to help keep that nice green color. The beet cryo concentration is also used in the accompanying sauce, which is a mixture of the beet cryo, salt, horseradish, creme fraiche, and some butter. We cook the sauce sous vide with the Hydro Pro for about 30 minutes, and then it's strained into a siphon to make a nice airy espuma. We log all of our cooks, not just for HACCP, but even just to have the data because it's important to know how to create reproducible techniques. This is the beet cryo concentration poached halibut with a horseradish creme fraiche espuma, sous vide asparagus, and dill. At Crea, we only cook by core temperature. Every single protein is cooked using a probe. We cook the duck using the Hydro Pro Plus sous vide toolbox recipe for pasteurization to make sure that it is cooked safely and ready to store for later use if desired. The Hydro Pro easily syncs the data to your phone. If you do need HACCP logs, the HACCP Manager app makes that process super simple no matter how many units you have or how many locations. The pickled ginger is cooked sous vide in a jar. And what we do is we combine some peeled and sliced ginger with a brine made with rice vinegar, water, sugar and salt, and some spice blend. And it's submerged in 62 degrees Celsius for two hours. And it's a fully safe way to make pickled ginger. You just leave it on your counter overnight to chill. We also made a sauce with fresh cherries, some almond, spice blend, a nice wild ginger vinegar, and salt, and that was cooked at 83 degrees Celsius for two hours. When we strain the cherries, we reserve the juice that's left in the pouch to glaze the duck with. We compress the amaranth three times, which helps to absorb moisture back into the leaves so when it cooks, the moisture doesn't weep out into the pan. This is spiced duck breast with sweet and sour cherries, pickled ginger, and compressed amaranth. 